Hello, everyone. Now, I'm going to be uh, teaching you all how to be a Queen Ant. Now, you can either choose any of these options. Now, I personally like to choose uh, Fire Ant. They're the, uh, the most powerful. I mean, the most. They're, they're the middle class, but they're quite powerful. Um, you have the Tampanotus Pennsylvania. They're slow, but really, really powerful. And here is the weakest, Anolapis Gracilipis. And here is Solanopsis Invicta. Um, yeah. So, I will teach you all how to play as each one of these queens. Now, so we'll start with Anolapis Gracilipis. Now, Anolapis is the weakest one, so you'll be highly a big target. So, when you get in there, fly off as far as you can and reach for the most secretive area you can find and the most smallest pool you can. Now, since you're Anolapis, you're highly targeted by the others. If, but if you're there, made by really good queens, then hold on. We have up. Now, like here, this is a good example of a good nest. You can maybe uh, put it right here. You can just keep on digging over here, maybe. But if there are colonies nearby, I don't suggest you nest near colonies because you're going to be a highly big target. Now, when you're going to uh, get there, when you uh, spawn, you need to look for the greatest, smallest water pool you can that doesn't have any colonies nearby. So now let's say that you have chosen the most safest spot you can find right here. The smallest spot right here. Now. So, since you uh, start here, I don't suggest you break off your wings instantly. This is so that because since you have, uh, if you're attacked, you can easily break off your wings and gain more health. Because the uh, queens, when they break off their wings, they easily get three times the health of a normal average, at an average lake. Now you're just digging here. Wait, just uh, making a claustral chamber. So, now that you have your claustral chamber, you now can prepare your eggs. Now just make one final check, and break off your wings. Make sure to have auto layoff. Now, in big servers, you will instantly have larvae. In small servers, there won't be a big chance of larvae, so now that you're out, now you have to go and find food for your larvae. So first of all, but uh, since this is a private server, there isn't much restrictions towards it. I'm just going to lay a couple eggs. And notice how my, my uh, movement goes slower when I get below 50 uh, energy. That's because energy, food costs energy. I mean, uh, eggs cost energy too. So, now when you feed your larvae, you're going to be starving. That's why you need to focus on getting your workers first then they can feed them and you can only focus on getting eggs and that just happened again gosh <sighs> all right so next up since you uh, have a good nest and you're uh, well fed after killing a larvae i mean now listen since i used to be a trial moderator even though i failed to so get Test passed. I am uh, so embarrassed about that. You can still use the teaslet to uh, kill uh, larvae NPCs. It just makes things easier for me. So I'm just going to do this as if I just fed my larvae and I'm really, really hungry. So I just kill this thing and I quickly uh, demolish it. Basically, you quickly eat it. Now, remember this source of water, it's very, very important to be If you don't, you might consider yourself a targeted colony and dead. I mean, if you're more secretive, you can get water from the heads of those things. Now, since you're Anolopes, you're most likely not going to have your colony live for that long. So now, where I'm going to show you how to play as a, um... Hold on, there we go. Now I'm going to show you how to play as Solenopsis Invicta. Now, Solenopsis always spawns in these mountains. 
these mountains are fire ant hills, but I always skip them, and if I spawn on that one, I instantly go to my usual nesting spot. This right here is the best nesting spot you can use. Right here, over here. So, it's next to water, that's one good thing. There's a high source of it, and there's a big mountain, a small mountain here where you can get your eggs done. Now, remember what I said, you are still going to be targeted by the carpenter ants. Maybe not the uh, Analopis gracilipis, depending on the size of their colonies. Sometimes the moderators come in and grow every single yellow, yellow crazy and make them late, so... Walk it off, I guess? You can even make it a bit above, so, so you know, which is good. Just make a small space here. Now, once you're done, you Zolanopsis Invicta is a strong colony. Now, the queen itself, like me, can take out four carpenter lathes at once. So, like, first of all, if you want to take the carpenter rate, you need to back off. You cannot handle those four carpenter lathes by yourself. So, you wait for one to get in, basically make yourself hide in this hole. And once you're done, make sure your larvae is safe, and once one of them comes in, you you take a bite, and then you take another heavy bite. And then you just get in there and murder them. Since they have the LA glitch, this is a good thing for queens to have. It is very hard for them to click. They don't know where you are because of the glitch. You might literally be lagging. Now, once I said before, I think the moderators allow you to do the key glitch with NPCs. I heard them saying that on the Discord. Legit, don't, uh, don't, uh, do please, please, please let me do this. All right, all right. So, so there we go. Now that you have been well fed and you took down those uh, things, if there's a wolf spider like once that actually happened to me, um, just stay inside, make sure you have some food to keep you fed in quarantine, and just stay alive. Keep your larvae fed, and once you have a couple soldiers, or maybe a bit of a lake, maybe make a tunnel to the water if you'll need. You'll be safe and sound, and you'll demolish that spider in no time. And remember, spiders lose energy quite fast when they run. So they have to constantly stand still. And if you have a lake, it's going to be very easy for you to kill them, right? Now, since you are a Solenopsis, you are a very, very powerful queen. Now, since I told you about uh, you were able to kill five carpenter lakes by yourself, actually four carpenter lakes by yourself, and maybe a couple workers with you, now it's time to get on with the big boys. <laughs> the way they just flop on the ground is just funny. All right, now, Campanotis, instantly, fly away, fly the heck away now you need to find a water pool the all, yes you need to find the water pool what i highly suggest for camping all these queens is to as fast as they can so camping all these queens are highly targeted by fire lakes and sometimes even a none of these thank god not and once again do not nest at the main lake do not, alright? And also, another note you should take note of, do not nest near that spider cave, that uh, thing. It's a spider cave, and it's dangerous. Now, since you are able to uh, do heavy bites, you will be able to disarm the evening fast. But since you have your wings on, that you're going to have a tough time biting them. So once you're you're able to, you'll have to eject your wings out. So now that you have flown away, let's say took a bit of damage here. Um, yeah, you took a bit of damage. You fly away as fast as you can, as fast as your wings can carry you, and then then. You uh, get down on the ground and you uh, start doing your nest. 
This is the nest where I highly recommend camping out a squeeze nest in. Because it's big and there is a good amount of nice space. You can even be creative and do this. Well, Alright, so watch me carefully. Uh, more than half of the, uh, a lot, a lot, three quarters of ant life players don't know this move glitch. Now break off your wings. You do this. And bada bing bada boom. Ant life logic. The game will count you as you're underground. Whoa, they actually turned off auto lay. Nice. And check that out. You now have a nice area to do this. No, there's only one problem. Actually, there isn't much of a problem now. Now you will have to constantly go back and get water, but it's going to be worth it. You're going to have a big sustaining fueled colony and you'll be fine. So, you can even use your wings as energy when you uh, first discover your stuff. So, let's just say I'm hungry after feeding my larvae. You can eat your wings. Never mind, they sometimes even spawn. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay, now... The problem with sitting next to the border of the map, some of the larvae will uh, fall down and go boo boo. So maybe sit somewhere this way, maybe? But this is where I mostly recommend. I've always had colonies right here, you can even see them in one of my live streams. They were highly successful thanks to the growing rate of the crow mother. Yeah, it's the crow, it's the crow mother now, alright? So everyone. Thanks for watching this video, this helpful tutorial on how to you need your suggestions on what to do in the future, like um, what I should do anymore, should I do anymore, ant life tutorials maybe, or some other stuff. Just recommend me some games other than ant life because I need some ideas. Thanks to everyone for watching. Goodbye.